Good day. My name is Jill Huisha from Ministry Pendidikan Sultan Idris. My presentation title is Complementary Factor Analysis of Learning Environment Among Secondary School Students. A learning environment enables us to understand student learning. The social environment plays an essential role in student learning environment. While looking into this environment factor, there are well-known theories being used until now in social science research in understanding human learning, such as social learning theory, social cognitive theory, and theoretic reciprocal causation model, which directly or indirectly explain how the environment play a role in the learning process. In this study context, learning environment refer to the student social environment that also their learning environment because their learning process involve parents, teachers, and peer. This paper is aimed to validating the learning environment instrument by using complementary factor analysis, where before CFA, data should be screening, normal distribute, and already run CFA using the pilot, and EFA using the pilot, and CFA using the study data. In CFA, there are three assessments. CFA method can assess the unidimensionality, validity, and reliability of a lengthened construct. Unidimensionality assessment should be made before assessing validity and reliability. In unidimensionality, factor loading for lengthened construct for Lantern construct assemble is more than 0 0.5, which means that each um, item, factor loading for item for the construct should be more than 0 0.5 and validate after completing the union dimensionality. Validity, there is three types of val validity, which is convergent validity, construct validity, and discriminant validity. For reliability, it's composite reliability CR. From the poll CF result show that there is no multicollinearity problem in between the construct where the correlation value in between the, the construct is less than 0 0.85, which means that there is no multicollinearity problem occur. Complete reliability more than 0 0.6. From the table, we can see that the complete reliability CR value is more than 0 0.6. This means that each construct achieve the composite reliability and for the AVE with average variant extracted the value is more than 0 0.50 and this means that convergent validity in which validity for all construct is achieved. The discriminant Discriminant validity index summary for all construct. We can see that the square root AVE value for body is 0 0.77, teachers 0 0.75, parents support is 0 0.77. This value, which is bold. AVE value, square root AVE value is larger than correlation in between construct value. And this means that discriminant validity is achieved. 
in conclusion, the instrument is valid and relevant in measuring the learning environment in this study context. Be friends. Thank you. That's all.